Hello gamers. Welcome to my channel. Stay tuned with me to play this game. Hope you like it and enjoy it. Subscribe to my channel for more videos. Ember felt a great relief to be out of the mist. The way through was ruined. Muffled by the fog, Ember was sure they heard a rumble. Could that have been a tremendous snow? Ember didn't mind getting muddy. The slide was such fun. A sleeping pig. Trotters in the air. They looked happy. plant looked like it could take a hand off, and it was in Ember's way. The fruit was giving off a sickly sweet smell. The plant looked like it could, and it was in Ember's way. Ember chuckled. The dangerous plant was no match for a hungry piggy. A hideous odor filled the air. And suddenly, the reason was obvious. Pig inhaled a giant snort of air. Wait, what's that delicious smell? Ember shuffled nervously. 
other embers fed me treats, but then stopped. You feed me now. The pig chewed a light grew in its belly. Fruity, fresh, but tastes a lot like mud. But what I want is... Something with more crunch. The pig would eat anything. Ember just needed to find more. Ember found a secret note from the Wanderer. Something beckons. This place is not home. I trace the map in my head, recite the older myths. I have to move on. was junk. Maybe the pig would eat some junk. And with each thing it ate, the light grew even brighter. Surprising, a little sparky, but tingly in belly. But what I want is... Something with more crunch. Perhaps if Ember could satisfy the pig, they might be more helpful. Ember found a lost message. The smell of hot broth and hearty stew wafts across the swamp. By the cook's pot I meet another. They are on their own path, but we promise to meet again. The skull was disgusting. Perhaps the pig would like it. This was the last thing Ember could find to offer. Crunchy, embery, not much meat, bit too bony. But what I want is... 
pig's stomach made an almighty sound. Ember chuckled with relief at the large creature they had been so afraid of. The pig had vanished, but something moved beneath the surface. In a muddy pond, Ember thought the pig looked a lot less imposing. The pig shouted joyously. The water feels so good on the skin. Join me, morsel. The pig seemed happy, but Ember wasn't getting too close. Why do I consume whatever people put in front of me? I need some true nourishment, but there's none left here. But so much cooler in this muddy pond, I can finally think. Thank you, morsel. thought about the pig, fed to bursting by others but without nourishment, cheerily the stranger said. Don't say much, little friend, do you? Remind me of one of those golem statues. Stood there, mouth open, I like you. Golem frozen in the lake, a relic from a forgotten time. Ember was jealous of the pig, snoring contentedly. Ember watched as the helpful piggy cleared the path. Inside was a scrap of journal. In the orchard, I meet the stranger from the cook's fire, a stranger no longer. Together we fill their satchel, food and memories for the road ahead.
The stranger couldn't take on more. Time to grow had passed. The stranger stretched their limbs. Perhaps it is not too late after all. The pot had turned cold, the fire had died. Nothing the cook made felt good enough. Endlessly stirring the same tasteless pot. Couldn't focus, sleepwalking through the days. Aimed inwards was a swirl of thoughts. In the eye of the storm, a fragile flicker. They wanted to serve something perfect. praise of others was hollow. The cook felt numb and hurt all at once.
Yeah. The cook spoke softly. Oh, hello, little one. I didn't see you. I must have lost myself for a moment. It's supposed to be my new soup recipe. But it's not ready. It's not done. A wonderful smell wafted towards Emperor. You look starving, poor thing. Have a little taste, but it's not right yet. It was the most beautiful thing Ember had ever tasted. I know. It's got no flavor, nothing special. Ember wished the cook would believe them. Oh, I'd forgotten how good it feels, feeding folk. But it's not ready. There's no need to pretend just to make me feel better. The cook stirred their soup, looking at Embo, looking at the pot, staring, thinking. Soon, maybe. Oh, I used to love this. Just want to be good at it. But it feels like I'm making the same things over and over. Nothing has flavor. I'm stuck. If you know what you want, I can try. But I really need some better ingredients. Something from the orchard could have worked. If it was still standing. Oh! The cook struggled to hold back their emotions. Pigs have gotten in the orchard. Planted every sapling I did. All me hard work ruined. Take the key and have a look yourself. I can't bear to. See if anything is left, but I promise you, there won't be. The stranger was afraid. They couldn't see what lay ahead. Ember saw their own fear reflected in the stranger.
the darkness hungered for them all. Ember spoke hesitantly. How do you continue, never knowing if we'll reach the end? Ember came upon another campfire lost in the wilderness. It looked long cold, but ready to be lit. The ghost spoke. Hope has returned to a forlorn. I will warm them until they choose to move on. Ember looked to the ghost for answers. This is the Hollow Marsh. Here hope was consumed before it could flourish. You must not lose hope, or you too will turn forlorn. Ember thought of those they loved, those they'd left behind. There are others lost along their journey. Find them and I will guide them. Down steps to your east, travel the path south, watching a pig grow unhappy, a forlorn lost hope. Right now and press the bell icon. Never miss an update.